Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. This is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel. What is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the bell. Go ahead and hit the, um, the subscribe button. I'm trying to reach my channel or the channel out um, a lot more. Hoping to grow over the next couple of weeks. May just has been extremely busy. Very, very busy, but I don't mind busy. <laughs> All right, guys, so same cards as yesterday, same tarot cards, same deck. I really like the message that came through yesterday, so let's just get started. Right off the hop for your Saturday message, I feel like finances is coming through. I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, this talks about balance, so I don't know if some, some of you have to balance your finances. Really be careful what you're spending over this weekend. Real <laughs> Funny story, so before I get back into this reading, I actually... Um, the bank put a block on my card because supposedly I Amazon shop too much. So, but I had so much to purchase like birthday and wedding stuff and, you know, just a lot of stuff that I've had to purchase. Um, so I guess because I purchased over my limit, the bank put a hold, um, which is twice now that this has happened to me. I know it's a good thing, right? Because they think that it might be fraud or something, but I just find it funny that I, I keep um, blocking my card. But that, that's, that's like what I'm feeling for some, maybe some of you, not all of you, that maybe you have to just watch your spending habits this weekend, um, watch how much money is coming in and out of your account. There could be some fraud going on with some of you. There could be you just needing to watch what you're, you know, buying online, any of that stuff. Um, this could just be um, you worried about money, you worried about how money is going to come in. There's a lot of family coming through, so maybe family is, you know, struggling right now. I know a lot of us are struggling in different ways because of COVID. So just know that you're not alone in that perspective. Um, Five of Pentacles, again, like I said, it talks about balance. So it's about taking, um, not so much taking, but just having some balance. Eight of Cups says that as you move for, further, or as you move ahead, you're going to notice that certain things are going to be falling behind. And what I mean by that is... You know, if you notice that this this guy is he's looking ahead and you see some cups that are down down below here. For me that represents um moving forward and not really taking the broken cups with you. This is like healing phrase for most of you. I feel like kind of like yesterday's reading where you have to sit with yourself and say, as I move along in my journey, as I move ahead, I need to get rid of what's no longer serving me. As I move forward, I need to realize that not everyone is meant to go ahead with me, but I am progressing and I'm growing just as I'm supposed to, okay? So don't worry so much about the falling cups because I feel like you still have eight left. So that just means that you are more, um, more ahead than what you think you are. Maybe you are lacking confidence lately. So maybe this is Spirit's way of saying in order for you to keep moving forward, remain confident in who you are and what your abilities are at this time because with the eight of wands coming right after like something fast is coming in for you guys so this is a fast change this could be a fast opportunity this could be you know uh, um recognition this could be a job offer this could be you moving this could just be a love offer because we do have the lovers coming up here as well right so this could be a twin flame journey your twin flame could be coming back around for most of you um union could be happening there's just a really fast you know, it could be fast text message, fast phone call, something online of that. You might receive something like that today. So just keeping that in mind that something, um, something fast is coming through. But it's definitely like Page of Pentacles tells me that it's definitely protected, definitely divinely guided. Um, so even though you may start off today um feeling sorry for yourself or feeling down or feeling like things aren't gonna work out spirit is saying don't stress about what you can't control instead try and go from like i said yesterday from a negative to a positive because it's it's all about law of attraction it's all about manifesting what it is you want in your life right now and just moving forward into what it is that you're so deserving of you know i feel like most of us we feel like we're not deserving of great things because of what we've been through in our past but this is such a a better opportunity to just keep moving forward and allowing these blessings and abundance to come through because 
it, it wants to come through. You have love coming towards you for most of you. And it's definitely divine timing. It's definitely being protected. So you could also have a love connection that's around you right now where Spirit is saying, like, it is divinely protected. You know, you call this in and it's here. Could be a soulmate as well. So just know that whatever changes are happening right now, they're happening for good reasons. All right. So let's get your Oracle cards short and sweet for these ones. We have Orphan coming up. It says, we were all meant to have connections with other people. Within our family, society, and the larger culture, no man is an island. And it's important to recognize when being part of, rather than separate form, is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truth and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way you did before. I need to find a new situation. You might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit. It's okay to let go and uh, let go of the pressure to fit in. Not everyone will understand you. It's time to move on, okay? So you, like I said yesterday, stop standing in front of that closed door. Move away from the closed door. There's something that you're like banging on in spirit. It's like, uh-uh, it's not for you. So you need to move on. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling like this is it. This isn't it. This is just a small chapter in a big book, okay? So keep moving forward. You're not stuck. You're not lost. You're not unhelpful or any other choice word you have for yourself. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. You just got to keep pushing. Keep trucking. All right? Co-create is the next card. You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you are creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions, and actions. Yes. Yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God, or whatever name you call your higher power. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality blended with universal spirit you are a product of divine inspiration and now you're aligned with it to create some miracles when you view your life as art and know you co-create it only beauty and grace results prepare to be amazed hell yeah all right so <coughs> i got a little excited there you have to choose what it is you guys want you have to decide am i going to stay and be miserable am i going to stay where i am not growing or am i going to get off my butt fight hard and go after what it is i know i deserve you are divinely protected right now but the choice is yours and that's what i have for you guys all right love and light guys and i'll talk to you tomorrow